Gobble gobble everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and since it's November, I shall be talking about Thanksgiving episodes, and today I will be talking about Friends, the one with Chandler in the box. This is a very unique Thanksgiving episode because unlike most Thanksgiving episodes on Friends that like don't connect to the rest of the season, this one actually does in many different ways. The things that's been going on the entire season, um is connected to like this episode oh by the way this is season five and so a lot has been going on lately there was the huge breakup between ross and rachel there was let's see is this season five i want to say season four but anyway i just say season five or not anyway this is the one with chandler in the box <laughs> so ross and rachel has been broken up she still hates him because of the whole break situation uh, Monica has quit her diner job and her and Phoebe have a catering business. Joey was dating this one girl um, and she cheated on him by kissing Chandler. And also the stuff that happened between Joey and like Chandler with their apartment getting broken into. Um, they now have furniture and stuff like that again. So there's a lot of stuff still connecting to this episode. So it's pretty oh, also. Monica has been broken up with Richard for like about a season and a half. So like a lot of stuff has been going on. Which is really, really, really interesting. So it starts with, you know, of course, Monica, she's making dinner like always. And well, actually, no, it actually it starts off with Joey. He's in his apartment and he's still upset about the whole Chandler thing. So Chandler keeps calling and because Chandler wants to keep up like apologizing, but like, you know, Joey don't want to listen to him and so he constantly keeps calling and then he fake calls him prank calls him um, to try to apologize and he has Ross to call see the whole thing between them is that it's ironic that Joey is so mad because I think the woman's name is Kate and so Joey was dating her first but he um was starting to cheat on her right and you know how Joey is Joey's like a huge like whore <laughs> And then so Chandler fell in love with her and then they kissed. Joey saw that and got pissed. But he shouldn't be too pissed because I mean he was cheating on her to begin with. And so like um and he really didn't pay that much attention to her. He just wanted to like use her for like her body and stuff. And so but he's upset at Chandler because you know that was his like best friend. And he couldn't believe Chandler would do that. So he doesn't want to talk to Chandler no more. So when like Phoebe and Monica and all of them are cooking, they tell like the people who are there, like, you know, um, they're doing secret Santa because they don't have that much money left. And so somebody has Rachel. I think Phoebe had Rachel, but then he had to change because he had Joey and he can't get Joey no gift. So she tells Chandler, you know, it's a good thing you have Rachel because she always gives back like all her gifts and he doesn't believe it. And he's all like, um, she got really upset when he bought her like that bag and like a giant like um doll took it away and then Chandler's all like oh there's no giant dog huh so yeah so Rachel has been getting more and more interesting as the seasons progress and uh, like she's become a whole lot more comedic in everything and so like it turns out that like no matter who buys her a gift she just returns it back and so when they let Ross know that he is upset because he's all like, oh, that can't be true. I bought her that necklace. And they're all like, giant dog, huh? He's like, huh. <laughs> so they co he confronts her about it and everything. And she tries to like play it off, right? Like all smooth and stuff by showing him another necklace. But it's the wrong color. <laughs> so he just tells her how like she's not sentimental and all this other crap. And, you know. Now with Monica, uh, she's like cleaning out some ice in the freezer. A piece of it got in her eye and so she has to go to see like the eye doctor which she doesn't want to because you know Richard her former boyfriend is like you know um, her eye doctor so she goes with Rachel and while she goes with Rachel Phoebe is like <laughs> in charge of the dinner and Phoebe's just like throwing stuff in not really measuring anything so Phoebe doesn't have much to do in this episode and you know, that's weird in thanksgiving episodes phoebe really don't never have much to do with anything except for that one football episode 
And so, like, as they're there in the office waiting for the doctor, um, see, Monica went because Richard's out of town, but she thinks he's there because Dr. Burt was in the office, but it's Richard's son. And before she even knew it was her son, her and Rachel was hitting on the new doctor guy. So you can probably guess where this is going to go. Needless to say, Monica has like heat <laughs> and she wants to date him and stuff. So she invites him to Thanksgiving, which everybody tells her is a bad idea because that's your ex-son. And he literally, makes, like, Phoebe, Phoebe makes the best joke talking about like, well, when y'all do it, you can tell him, well, that's not how your dad used to do it. <laughs> and so like, um, Joey's at the point where he's starting to return everything Chandler gave him. So then he goes to see Chandler at um, Central Park. And we get to see Gunther. Oh, that's so sad that the dude who played him passed away this year. Like, only like a month ago he died. That's so sad. And so, like, he sees Kate and Chandler together, and that infuriates him to where he starts to move out. Chandler is, like, begging and just, like, pleading for him to stay. And he's all... And then they bring up the whole time when Joey got robbed. I'm talking about how he was in the entertainment unit for six hours. And he's all like, if we still had that, man, I would do the same thing. Joey suggests, well, they got a box. <laughs> so when they had Thanksgiving and everything, Monica has her eye patch on like a pirate. Um, they make jokes more about like, you know, Richard's son. And she starts to see how it's slightly awkward. And as they're making fun of her, she gets on them big time and tells them how screwed up their lives are about how Joey threw a woman's leg in the fire, Chandler's in the box, um, Phoebe, I forgot what like Phoebe does. And then so, um, and then a bunch of like the whole break thing. And so like, um, and just, she gets them so good. It's like one of the best moments of the entire episode. And so like, um, what is it? So, Rachel comes in with a bunch of stuff that she kept with, um, from Ross when she was dating him. It's all like, like she tells him straight up she is sentimental. Like she kept everything, like from the times they went on dates and stuff. Even like a uh, tooth from like a dinosaur exhibit, which he tells her you're not supposed to take that. And people have literally been looking for that and lost their jobs as a result. And so like, uh, Monica and Richard's son, they finally kiss. To where Monica did not like it at all. <laughs> and so, needless to say, they broke up. And so, Joe Chandler, when he's in the box, he's constantly making jokes and all this other stuff. He's not taking it seriously, which pisses Joey off. So, finally, Kate shows up and she tells, like, you know, what was now Chandler is not even supposed to talk because Joey has forbidden it. <laughs> So she gives her goodbyes to him in a very touching, heartfelt moment. And with him being silent, like you can really feel it. So then Joey gets sentimental and, and he tells him, man, you can get out the box and like go to her, like y'all belong together and stuff like that. So it ends with the um, end credits rolling. And so it's like they're spying on Chandler and Kate talking about how all oh, they gave each other a hug and wait a minute, he's robbing her. That's not them. <laughs> <laughs> and so like it just ended like on a very hilarious like note and you know even though this didn't have much thanksgiving -y stuff it was, like at least the only part where like them cooking that kind of took me a while to um, review this one only because the one from the next season had like a lot of thanksgiving stuff in it so like yeah all in all this is still a hilarious episode and it's kind of cool how they tie it into like other episodes and even stuff from like other seasons so that's always a nice touch